Okay, folks, welcome to the member's stock pick video. This is where I take recommendations from our members and I review the charts of the stock. And that's one of the benefits of membership. And members, all I ask is that when I send out the member's stock pick video that you reply back to that email so I can keep track of the symbols because we get a lot of recommendations. All right, so the first stock up, and again, uh, non-members, this is a free service of the contrarian trader. First stock up is from fellow member Hattie. Look at that symbol, YUME. YUME is in a triangle formation or a pennant formation, testing the lower band of the rising uptrend channel. This is a daily chart. From a risk reward perspective, the stock is not that risky, although it's a very volatile, low dollar stock. We know that if we get a continuation breakdown outside of this formation that we would need to stop out of the trade. The ideal situ situation is on a breakout above this upper band of the declining downtrend channel. That provides you with your best risk reward entry point. Next stock up is Arch Cole, symbol ACI. This is from fellow member JT. I have a couple of symbols from JT. This is the first one up. Arch Cole is looking good. We're trading at the lower band of the rising uptrend channel. Good bottoming tails seen on Thursday, which implies that we might respect the support level. Volume was a bit light, but at a, on average, not too bad. Ideally, we like to see a higher low on the slow stochastic. Otherwise, the chart looks okay. We remain in a formation, and the trend on a daily chart since July remains up. BAA, this is Banro Corp, another symbol from JT. Weekly chart, I went to the weekly chart for a specific reason, to illustrate a point. And that point is, is that we're right up against, and you can see how we sold off the upper band of the declining downtrend channel. JT, what I would be looking for with BAA, we can go into this further, we'll watch it, is watch for a pullback and look for a higher low, implying that there is support. And then we can look to build a position and then add to that position on a breakout. So do I like BAA going into trade on Friday? Not really because it hasn't proven to me that it can go any higher. It's still in a downtrend. The RSI appears to be hooking up, which is a positive. A little bit of topping action at the 50-day moving average. Note how it closed there a couple of days ago above that level but fail to hold it. It's a sign of weakness. Another one from JT, symbol KWK, Quicksilver Resources. We are in a downtrend on RSI, uptrend on price. That's a divergence. So we need to respect the divergence and appreciate the fact that we'll probably head a little bit lower, perhaps to the lower band of this rising uptrend channel. That'll provide you with a better risk-reward entry point. We're in a downtrend on money flow. And down volume rose on Thursday. Let's take a look at the intraday chart. Let's see if there was some buying into the close. Because note the bottoming tail. And that's what we saw. Bottoming tail uh, late on Thursday. And then they rallied into the close. A little bit of weakness at the final minutes of trade on rising down volume. So the jury's still out on KWK. But it's close to a buy point. Next stop up is Galt, G-A-L-T, Galactin Therapeutics. All right, so Galactin, you can see that we're in a long trading range or we're in a long trading range. We broke out of that trading range and we do have a bit of a topping tail, which implies that there are sellers above. And I can tell you from my analysis of the weekly chart that there are sellers going back to 2004. So we'll take a wait and see approach with Galt, and I will be sending out a trade alert as I will with all my trades to members. But the, the topping tail is a bit of a concern. I'm sure there's a ton of shorts in this stock that can cause it to go higher, but let's keep in mind it's already had a 60% move. That can't be ignored. So we want to get in on our terms so that we got, can identify a good exit point to keep our losses small and maximize our profits. XLF, the bank's. They're looking good. I think they're going to break out. Bit of resistance at 22.10. I like the bank's longer term. High mix, symbol H-I-M-X. 
we're at the upper band of a rising uptrend channel. However, we appear to be flagging out or forming a bit of a pen formation. I, I, I would term it more of a flag, and it may pop higher. Note the doji star formation, sign of indecision on Thursday. So the jury's out whether or not we're going to take out the upper band of the rising uptrend channel, or will we pull back to this lower band, making for a better risk-to-reward entry point. And again, with these charts many of which I will go over with members on the week ahead commentary, which is released on Sunday. We'll go over these charts on a weekly and intraday basis to identify the best risk to reward entry points. These are just the daily charts I'm reviewing right now. Intercept Pharmaceuticals, symbol ICPT. What's there to say? Great news out of the company yesterday, a massive gap up. Topping tails, we do know that there are sellers up here. We have an RSI of 98.06. For those folks that are looking to get long of the stock, I would strongly caution against it. However, that does not mean that there is not a good risk-to-reward entry point somewhere to be found. And that's what we'll be reviewing with members on the Week Ahead commentary this coming Sunday. All right, in the last couple of stocks, up, uh, we have... Uh, FRP, which is Fairpoint Communications, which we like as a short. RSI is 92.21. Topping action, we think we're going to get a pullback in short order. We'll be looking to build short positions. Next stock up is a request from fellow member Chad. Chad, I love this one. Grow Life Inc. It's an OTC stock. And I guess it's one of the... Um, Marijuana stocks. Uh, love what your mind's at, Chad. Love it. I want to party with you. All right, so we have a stock which is um, trading as a penny stock. Well, let's just say it up front. It's an OTC stock. Very, very volatile. This sector is, pardon the pun, on fire. Uh, I could go all day with this one. And it's subject to manipulation. Let's face it. Probably some pump and dumpers in this name. We do have a massive rally off of three cents per share. A big key reversal on Thursday, which cannot be ignored. So big topping tail, lots of sellers off of an RSI that was above 90. So the sell-off is not a shock. Massive, massive distribution. The question is, will the sell-off continue? Ultimate oscillator, lower highs. Stokes rolling over. We'll drill down to a... Intraday chart. All right, so we have a couple of good risk-to-reward entry points. 22 cents per share is one that strikes me, potentially 25 cents, where we found support yesterday in that neighborhood, 24, 25 cents, and we closed just above that level. This is really one you need to monitor, watch the price and volume action, and money flow. Look at this volume, lots of distribution, a lot of people taking money off the table. So you need to be very, very careful. And that's it, folks. If you have any questions, shoot me an email. And members, expect the week ahead commentary to be coming out this coming weekend. And that prevents me from omitting any of the symbols that you request to be reviewed. And that's it, folks. Have a profitable trading day. Remember, it's short covering Friday. And we'll talk to you soon.